make something for someone, you can, you can put it on a hanger and you can admire it as much as you want, but until you put it on the back of the client and the client stands up that little bit taller, you know you've done your job well. People come in all shapes and sizes and one size fits all is a fantasy. No one knows that better than Jonathan McIntyre. He's a sergeant in the Scots Guards and this sharpshooter knows how to handle a pair of scissors as well as a 308 L96. As a military tailor, we're only in charge of the alterations of these. These are actually bespoke made by cash kitten partners. They come in every Thursday, they take measurements of the soldiers as they come through. Cash is a good six and a half, seven foot tall chap. Has had to go out and they had to order some extra cloth to make sure that they had enough in for him. <laughs> so the, the height of the guy. He was a bit of a, he was a bit of a unit, yeah. Big <laughs> big Rhodesian. <laughs> You don't, wear a, you don't wear a bearskin as well, do you? I do, yes. Oh my, well, so what does, where does the bearskin well, put you? What height? I'm six foot seven, and then uh, obviously another, probably another two foot on top of that with the bearskin on. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I be, feel safe. So yeah, bearskin's yeah, bearskin a foot and a half. Foot and a half, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, so. so you'll be easily I seven, eight foot. Eight foot, yeah. <laughs> Jonathan is lucky to be alive. He survived a shot to the chest in Afghanistan in 2010. He lost a lung and shattered some bones, but his recovery didn't stop him missing the start of the shooting season just weeks into his recovery. His passion for shooting has driven another arm of the tailoring work. He is now producing tailored shooting garments. This is something that I've just, I've just finished making the other week there, so I was just taking the basting out as you came in. This is your, your, your typical gilets that, we, that we've been making here. Everything's made to measure, everything's bespoke by us. You're getting what you want, you're making it for your needs and um, making sure it's fit for your purposes. So you were able to work as a, a military tailor but also work in other aspects of, of tailoring as well? Yeah, so um, one of the joys of, of being in the army is um, the army is always trying to push you and, and inspire you to continue to do well. So part of that was to start my own business, GM Clean Cut Tailoring started making just basic things, kilts originally is what I started in with the accent. Then we, we, we moved on, being a keen shot, I decided, well, I can make breeches, I can make, I can make gilets, I can make jackets, and, and started going down that route of being able to produce good quality garments in the UK, but we're able to keep the margins to, to a minimal and pass that saving on to the, the end user, the guy on the peg. The clothes are not to dress a wardrobe, they're to be worn in the field. He designs each jacket, gilet or suit to the shooter's shooting needs. Big hands need big pockets. Are you actively stalking or beating or just on a peg? In that case, you'll need the freedom to move like Fred Astaire and bend it like Beckham. Fred Astaire insisted in such a small armhole in his jacket because it allowed him to lift his arm without the base of the jacket riding up. It's almost contradictory to, to what you would believe, you know, that way you yeah. would think, oh, I need, I need a bigger armhole, that gives me more movement, I need more space. Well, ironically, you, you don't want more space. What you want to do is make, the, make the, the angle tighter so that it can pivot a lot easier. So if your armhole's smaller, you can get the gun up into the shoulder, you can mount the gun correctly. That comes from a military tailoring background where tunics are designed like that so that the guys can actually have their weapons on them, they can lift their arms up when they're marching, and it doesn't ride the jacket up and doesn't end up sitting around the rib cage. This is not a normal tailor. It's an event with Wellington Barracks right next door to Buckingham Palace. Not only will Jonathan understand your shooting needs, you get to experience some amazing military history and hear plenty of stories. And the whole JM experience and you get everything thrown into that. Um, you get Johnny McIntyre for a few hours, nibbling at your ear, telling you all the woulda, coulda, shouldas, and um, yeah, you get you, you, just, you just get the whole thing. You get you know, being a shooter myself, I understand the needs, I understand that all us shooting people uh, we're very like-minded. We get on incredibly well. Come down if it's late enough in the afternoon, we might even have a whiskey. Jonathan's tailored shooting jackets for men and women cost about £400, with most of his three-piece suits under £1,000. For more information, go to jmcleancuttailoring.com.